Who's excited for Elden Ring? I know I am, and you better be. So I made a list from easiest to hardest bosses in Elden Ring, open beta. But before I start, please subscribe for more Elden Ring and From Software content. Also, to count it as a boss, they need a boss health bar. So sorry to all the amazing mini bosses. So let's begin. The easiest boss in Elden Ring open beta has to be Soldier of Godric. He is located in Fringe Folk Hero's Grave. Really, he's just a normal boss enemy you kill to farm souls. But now he has a boss health bar, so really, he counts as a boss. But he's the easiest because he dies in two hits most of the time, and he's a basic tutorial. But you can't help to love him now. At the number 10 space goes to Demi Human Chiefs. They are both located in the Disenter's Cave. Two bosses in one! Sounds hard, but not when you realise they come at one at a time. Their attacks aren't too damaging, so they're basically normal enemies again, but they just have more HP than normal. Number 9 has to go to the Burial Tree Watchdog. It is located in Stormfoot Catacombs. This guy does nothing most of the fight. The only reason he's higher than the other two is because there's a fire attack that he does, and once you get stuck in it, he does a lot of damage. Number 8 goes to the spooky October man, Pumpkinhead, who is located in the post town remains. His attacks are slow, but strong. If you don't stop moving, you'll be fine. So it's almost impossible to die to him. But you could be stunned by how beautiful he is. Number 7 goes to the Stone Digger Troll. That's one name for my penis. Too far, too far. He is positioned in the Lime Grave Tunnels. But for the same reason as Pumpkinhead, his moves are slow, but his combos absolutely decimate your health. So again, play it safe and you'll be fine. I don't know why I'm saying it like you can still fight these bosses, the open bait is close, you can't even fight them. Number 6 goes to the Beastman of Faram Azula. He is located in the Groveside Cave. His moves are fast, but not that devastating, and the arena you fight him is so big that you can move anywhere and avoid his attacks. The Grave Warden takes number 5. You can find him in the Murkwater Catacombs, just because he is mostly like the Beastman of Farun Azula, but he is much faster, and the arena you fight in is much smaller than his one. The number 4 spot goes to Bloodhound Knight Dairy Run. He is located on the Forlong Hound Evergold. He is on this spot because he is a speedy little fucker, and he causes you to bleed, which makes the boss harder. However, he is not quite hard enough to make the top three. The bronze medal goes to the Tree Sentinel. He is located on the Lime Grave Road. Yes, the first proper boss you fight on the Elden Ring Open Beta is a tough one. His horse makes him the fastest boss in the game so far, and his huge axe also makes him one of the most powerful. Even if this boss is hard, he is extremely fun to finally beat. Now we are in the last two. The number two spot has to go to the Margit the Fell Owner. He is located in Stormhill Castle. You know this boss is hard when they call him a lord. This boss is also the boss you would have to beat to end the Elden Ring open beta. So of course they would make it hard and rememberable. Now, you may know what beast is in the number one spot. Located in the Dragon Burnt Ruins, the gold medal goes to the Flying Dragon Aghil. I have a lot to say about this boss, so let's start and talk about how much health this guy has. It takes a whole 5 minutes to kill him, and if you're struggling, it'll take up to 15 to 20 minutes. He can also hit you with almost every part of his body. But he isn't just the hardest, he is also the best. The way he swoops in and kills anything and everything in his path is jaw dropping. And the way he comes out of nowhere gives you a fucking good jump scare and a gaming moment. You will remember this moment every time you think of Elden Ring. Elden Ring is coming out on the 25th of February 2022, so if you want more hype on Elden Ring and just some fun videos about Bloodborne, Dark Souls, Demon Souls and even Sekiro, subscribe. That will be all for this video, like if you agree with my opinion and comment your own opinion if you don't. Thanks for watching, goodbye.